Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I'm Kylie Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 30 of my subsistence Let's Play series. As you can see, I'm making a bunch of pistol ammo right now. I have got stuff in my inventory ready to make some arrows for the bow that I just crafted. I'm trying to listen to the comments as much as I can for advice and stuff like that. Um, so... I'm not exactly sure what we need to do today. Probably a lot of loot boxes again is really important. I'd love to work my way to getting some grenades so we can actually raid the hunter's base that's on the hill to, you know, knock back some of their progress. I mean, it honestly wouldn't surprise me if they've already got armored base parts and then I'm absolutely fucked. Like, I'm just utterly done for if that's the case. Man, this lag is shithouse. Oh, damn. Didn't help my frame rate a ton, but oh well. Any improvements, an improvement regardless. So I don't know how much pistol ammo I'm actually going to end up with. It was a fair bit. I, like, used all my gunpowder and my um, shells to make this shit. So I've got over two full clips of pistol ammo. That's enough to take out Hunter if we have to. A stretch if we have to take out two though and i'm also worried with the grenades it's like they, they're given this you have to craft this super expensive item right but you've never used one before so you could easily whiff it and fucking not blow up anything that's also you know a conundrum you could run into i think it makes me a little bit worried to spend all those materials on it to just whiff the fucking grenade, completely miss the door, and I've wasted all those, all that shit. It's like, what's a grenade worth? It's... 10 iron, 5 copper, but 50 gunpowder. Pretty price in the old gunpowder there. Oh man, had a really bad coffin fit. Sorry about that. Um, unfortunately, we don't have the gunpowder now because I just crafted a ridiculous amount of shells. Um, but... Hmm. Okay. Alright, so... Put our bow down here as well. We're going to have uh, 10 arrows, I think. Something like that. 10 arrows, two full clips of pistol ammunition. Pretty good on food and everything. I guess I have to smelt more potassium to make the gunpowder, pretty much. It's really my only thing I can do. Alright, so we'll do that. I'm probably going to run low on power with that, though, which is a bit of a concern for me. Um, I'm going to turn that on for now. What I would actually really love is I think we've got to make our shotgun again. Uh, scrap, wood, and cloth. Fuck, the cloth is the, the killer here. I'm one short. All right. Well, we got to go off and get loot boxes. I want the shotguns because they can one-shot the wolves, which means we can get easy animal fat. Which means we can render that into biofuel, and we can not have to worry about power as much. And then I guess people are also thinking of, but you said you were going to get solar panels. Yes, I, I really do want to. I'm, I'm probably trying to do too much at once now and spreading, my, like, spreading myself a little bit thin in this game. Because I'm trying to, like, get loot boxes, fucking build up the base some more, while trying to get all my stuff back. Really slowed down progress. Almost tempted to kill that fuck. He doesn't have a helmet or anything. Probably means if I get hit, I don't have any bandages on me, but he's coming over, isn't he? I don't care how many bullets this takes. Fucking kidding me, actually. Yeah. 
Are you kidding? What? Fuck. Come on. Fuck you and your gun. Thank God. Can I at least take his stuff and try and run as far back towards the base as I can? Before I bleed to death? I just want to die in a recognizable place. And this is going to waste more cloth now that I think about it. It's actually better if I do die. Yeah, I think I'll just get up here and then let myself die. If I get the chance to. If I don't stop bleeding before then. Because at least if I die, they're going to give me a bandage and I don't have to waste my my cloth. That seems kind of cheap, but it's fucking... It's a fact, though. And, of course, we stopped bleeding before we died. Fucking sick. Now I have to wait 500 years for my health to return. Sweet. Let's eat one of those. That'll help. Alrighty, what did we get? Victor goes to spoils. We got us uh, shit right here. A tiny bit of gunpowder. Mm hmm. Tiny bit of zinc. Fuel block, egg, blueberry, scrap iron, some computer chip parts. Put that in there. Alright, so how is our potassium smelting going? We are short by a couple to get. We need two more to get two or to get twenty gunpowder, is what it works out to. But we can start crafting one now, I guess. We're too short, and that's going to take a little bit, so we'll hold off on that. No. There we go. Right, let's fix all those stacks. A wood should go in there. Actually, the sticks should go back in my inventory now. I've got to replace the arrows that I just used on that guy. And I used all that pistol ammo in that one fight. Because I'm a fucking idiot. I'm so pissed. Alright. Holy shiitake mushrooms. Okay. The fuck are we doing? We got arrows. We got no pistol ammunition now, so that stinks. Got some gunpowder, though. Unfortunately, I really don't have a place for this seed to keep it neat. Okay, so theoretically, what would we need for this fucking solar panel? That's pretty cheap, actually. You know what? I should do it. Yeah, I should do that right now. Do it right now. While I know we've got the materials and the power and everything for it. Boom! One solar panel! Coming right up ah. Alright, so hopefully it generates a decent bit of power. I'm going to be pissed if I've just wasted a ton of stuff. Right, let's see. Here we go. Okay. Alright, so apparently you want it really sitting in the sun as long as possible. I'd imagine maybe if we put it up here, it'd be okay. Hit F to open. Power per second. It's got 50% light, which I think apparently is the max it can go unless you upgrade them. So, that's pretty good. Yeah, if you improve these two things, you can get that up to 100% light. But it's doing 0 0.03 power per second. Which is technically making our power tick down. But that's because we got this refinery going. Which I guess we'll have to turn off for now. I need to get the power generated up. Give me that. 
Make some more gunpowder. Okay. Beautiful. Alright. Wait a minute. Did I put that ore away? What did I... Oh, I just turned it off. That's right. I just left it in there. Doi. Alright. Gunpowder's done. Now we gotta start working towards getting ourselves a shoddy. So we really gotta get some more cloth. Pretty much some cloth and some wood. Shouldn't be too hard. Should be quite easy actually. As long as we can find some ammo crates is the other thing. I don't like how low that hunter's going down the hill to, to scope us out. Probably gonna come raid us and fucking ruin us. It's the only thing I've got to defend myself is a fucking bow and arrow. Because I just used like 17 or 18 pistol bullets on one hunter. I mean, I missed a whole mag, but apart from that, I hit quite a lot of shots on him and he fucking took it like a champion. They're starting to get. They're, they're starting to be way stronger than me. That's a fucking. Oh, I don't have any lock picks, dude. I do not have any locker picks to help myself. Yeah, I really I really just want the shotgun mainly for wolf hunting, just for the, the biofuel and stuff. Although having a solar panel is nice, I'd probably like another one, at least. That would be great. That would be great. And I'm seeing fuck all crates, by the way. Just thought I'd mention that. And I also should go bastard here and steal this dude's ash, like I always do. After I murdered him, I forgot to do that. Because I was too worried about bleeding to death. Sweet. 200 free ash. Thank you. I wonder if when they're in their houses, if you knock on the door, they come out and fuck you up. Is that how it works? You just disturb their peace and quiet. Are they just always outside and never actually in their home? Because I've seen them, like, whacking trees and then just walking around outside, so I don't actually know if they go, even go inside their bases that they build. Come on, have we got any ammo? Fucking hell, dude. Be being real stingy on the crates today, guys. Fucking real stingy. Holy shit. There's just nothing. This is some zinc, I think. Yep. I was correct, Mundo. There's just nothing around. Oh, some scrap metal. Fucking something, at least. Finally, some hope. This iron. I actually need more potassium, really. Just for all the gunpowder that I need. For shotgun shells are not cheap. And I like to at least have a full mag of them, full clip. <clears throat> to really cover my ass. It's fucking nothing, dude. It's just an abyss of nothing. Oh, fucking level two bear, though. He is hanging out. I'm gonna eat our booty up. I gotta be careful here, because you break your leg after falling like half an inch. He's fucking laying. He's like, oh, oh, fucking God. Your bone's sticking out of your fucking ankle. So ridiculous. Sometimes I question fall damage in a lot of games. It's like, why have it there from such a low height, though? Like, I get it's a survival game. But unless you fell and, like, fell at an awkward angle with your ankle, like, twisted already before you landed, ain't nobody gonna fucking hurt themselves from that fall. This is not going to happen. You're going to get up and be like, oh, damn. Well, I look like an idiot. You're not going to be screaming out in fucking pain and agony. Oh, God. Well, I guess I'm probably going to look for some crates off camera. Because I'm going to have to end off this episode here, guys and girls. So, anyway, if you like this video, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more subsistence, be sure to hit that subscribe button. 
Follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, poise.